uh, news announcement. Uh, four days ago on CNN News, there was a breach into the White House by a man, last name Gonzalez. Um, he was uh, he had served time in the military. Um, what he suffered from was post traumatic disorder. Uh, two, he had depression, so he was in and out of the clinic for these types of uh, behaviors and to get treatment to help. Um, what happened was he actually jumped the fence and actually ran through the main door of the White House where Secret Service agents actually kind of tackled him. Um, at the time, he physically didn't have anything out in the open weapon-wise, but as he was searched, they did find a three-and-a-half-inch knife on his possession. So um, that's making a big emphasis on what was his real objective. Um, he had been suffering from um, his uh, disorder for some time. Um, he was actually beginning to, you know, I guess you could say hallucinate, whatnot. He was starting to, I guess, uh, set kind of traps in his house, around his house. Um, what was reported was this man wanted to actually meet with the president to tell him that the atmosphere was collapsing in his perception. Um, according to officials, this guy did not have any record of any convictions or arrests. He wasn't on any drugs, illegal drugs. So um, officials are actually asking, is security really tightened around the White House if something like this could have happened? And also what makes this a little controversial is because he served time in the military, should he get less punishment versus someone that's a more corrupt individual.